thanks for tuning in. Um, tonight I'm going to show you how to do an easy egg muffin bake. And I'm excited to show you this recipe because we get to use our eggs for it. And for this particular recipe, it calls for 24 eggs. But you can also half it and just do 12 if you'd like. Uh, the 24 eggs would make 24 muffin tins. You could do 12 and it makes 12 muffin tins. So here are the eggs. You're going to need a one pound of pork sausage. You can also do turkey sausage. Uh, you could also do bacon if you wanted. And then um, I'd like to recommend our friends John and Gretchen Dimling over at Whistle Pig Hollow. They have fantastic pastured pork. And that's typically where I get my pork sausage. This particular sausage is a loose sausage without the casing. Then you want one bell pepper. With this particular recipe, I took one third of each color because I like the variety of colors. And I already started cracking the eggs. I wanted to show you what a fresh egg looks like. Very hard shells. That's a healthy chicken for you. But you see, if you take notice, this, this egg, how the white sits way up, the yolk is nice and round. It doesn't go flat. You know, um, when there's a stale egg, because it does flatten, this part right here flattens, the yolk won't be so nice and high either. And then you also want a cup and a half of uh, cheese. You can do Mexican cheese if you'd like. You can do mozzarella. I like cheddar, so I'm using cheddar for this recipe. You want one medium onion. You want half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of salt. And then these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a whisk, and then you're going to need a cupcake scoop, because this is going to measure out the amount you need for the tins. And then you want to preheat your oven at 350. And then you want your just plain cupcake tins or muffin tins. And you want to spray them down well with cooking spray. And we'll come back in a few minutes and show you the rest. Hey guys, I brought my beautiful assistant to help us. Abby's going to help me add the ingredients. So we're going to add the sausage to the eggs. It's one pound of sausage. Yeah. Yep. And then one medium onion. One bell pepper. Now with the cheese, you just want to add one cup. We're going to use the other half cup to put on top before we put it in the oven. Put the whole thing in? Yep. And then we're going to add the seasonings. That looks really yummy already. And then we're going to whisk it all together. You want some help, Abby? Sure. <clears throat> pretty good. I think it's pretty evenly mixed. And if you guys had a hand mixer, you could even do it that way. It might be a little easier. Or maybe whisk your eggs before you add everything else. Okay, and we're going to go over here and we're going to scoop into our muffin pan. Go 
I'll come back in a few minutes when all these pans are filled. All right, we're just gonna put the cheese on top and then we're gonna put them in the oven. All right, now we're gonna stick them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. One. So it's been about 25 minutes and I just pulled them out of the oven. They came out of the oven, now the pan's fairly easy. But these will make a fantastic breakfast. One or two of these is a perfect serving size. Um, you can also wrap them with plastic wrap and you can freeze them. And then you can always pull them out of the freezer and heat them in the microwave for about 45 seconds or put them in the toaster oven to warm them up. But these are going to be delicious tomorrow morning. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. And I want to wish you a happy holiday from my family to yours. And thanks again. Good night.